River. We're going to go to uh, the museum of the brother who was kidnapped by the British, the king who was king when Yai Santawa went into exile. I forget. And Prepe. King Prepe's museum. We're going to go to that. We're going to do an African naming ceremony. You want to get a chance to shop, go to the beach, go to the nightclub, get African clothes made. For example, I'm wearing the dashiki that I got made in Ghana. Nice. Sister came one night, she measured everybody. Everybody bought clothes. She measured everybody. Came back the night before we left. I ordered eight dashiki. She came back with 12. And guess what I paid for? 30 US dollars for this. Yes. So start saving your money. The trip last year was 3200 for two weeks, everything included, except dinner and spending money. It's going to be a little more this year because I'm trying to squeeze in two extra countries. I would say to be on the safe side, if you can manage to save 5000 by June, you should be good. I'm going to try to get it under four, so the rest of that money will be spending money. If you don't have a passport, please get it. My brothers who got child support issues, pay off your damn child support because you cannot get a passport if you owe some money. Okay? Get your child support up. Get your passport. Start saving. Stay in contact with Dr. Umar. So I'm going to let you know when I'm coming back so we can do the Parent Association, the Credit Union. I'm supposed to be having a meet with Dr. Claude Anderson. Y'all know Baba Claude. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to put our heads together on the economic piece and see how we can work this thing. Because he deal with economics, I deal with economics. We want to bring it together. Yeah, please bring it together. Must bring it together. We must move as one. And I want to see all y'all on that plane when it pulls out for Africa in July. Taking a child, children under two can go free on your lap. If you plan on holding them, that whole 12 hour flight. Hopefully they don't pee on you. And all you have to do is pay the travel tax for the child. If you don't want to take the international shots, there is an exemption form you can fill out where you don't have to take no shots. If you are 55 years or older, which means you're in elderhood, I don't recommend, I don't recommend that you take the international shots because a lot of elders get terminally ill after coming back from Africa after taking those yellow fever shots and that other stuff. So if you're an elder, I don't recommend it. If you're not an elder, you might want to take your chance. I did take the yellow fever shot when I first went to Africa in 05. It's good for 10 years, but in 2015, I don't think I'm taking it again. Because I think they're putting stuff in us. They're killing us with these kids. Ebola and West Nile and all this stuff, they put it right in your damn Africa shot. So we got to leave that stuff alone. I'm going to leave you with a Garvey quote. Marcus Garvey said, without confidence in yourself, you are twice defeated in a race of life. Yeah. Without confidence in yourself, you are twice defeated in a race of life. But with confidence, with confidence. you have won even before you have started. This past summer, we celebrated 100 years of the Garvey yes, movement. we did. We sure did. We celebrated 50 years of the Civil Rights Bill. Yeah. We celebrated 60 years of the school desegregation laws. And guess what we celebrate Kwanzaa of 2015, brothers and sisters? Not this Kwanzaa, but next Kwanzaa. We celebrate 150 years since the passage of the 13th Amendment. We are 150 years out of the chain, but the mental chains remain. When slavery ended, we owned one half of 1% of all the wealth in America. And right now, even with LeBron and Oprah, we still only own one half of 1% of all the wealth in America. So when I talk about that economic stimulus package, when I talk about that credit union, you better be behind us. That's right. Black dollars for black people, for up. black destiny. That's That's up. Up. Marcus Garvey was asked, are you an African or are you a Jamaican? Are you an African or are you a Jamaican? Are you an African or are you a Jamaican? And in response to that question, his excellence, Marcus Messiah Garvey, leader of the largest black organization in modern history, the man who influenced every other leader since, That's right. who gave us the red, black, and green flag of the African race. Yes. He said, you ask me if I'm an African or am I a Jamaican, I would simply answer by saying that I would never, ever give up a continent for an island. I am an African. Yesterday, today, and for all times. Brothers and sisters, thank you. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe.
I'm going to go downstairs and outside to sign your books so we're not congested. So you can get the book in the back room, this floor. People downstairs need to come up to this floor. I also have the t-shirts and DVDs there. You can use credit cards. She does have the credit card machine if you need to. Just make sure it's your card. I shall. Good looking out. Okay. Thanks,